enough and shifty enough to still get away from the defender. Breaks the tackle. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the third. The 49ers in the pistol. And the give to Frank Gore, trying the right side. Impressive piece of running by Gore. And they're really setting the tone here early with the big running play that time. They took advantage, Jim, of a defense that's out of position. Nice job by the running back taking advantage of it, and he picks up big yards. And he'll go to the left. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out, they'll throw it over the top. LaMichael James is in the backfield. Second and four, LaMichael James running to his right and he's going to be tackled right around the 31 yard line wow when you keep picking up first downs like this it gives you confidence but maybe most importantly it gets the defense sitting over there going what's coming next able to move the chains after that last run. There's the marker. It comes out. That snap was not in time. It'll be a delay of game call. Offense. Still first down. and 15 after the penalty. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Slashes to the left side, and he's brought to the ground. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're gonna read the tackle's block and decide whether you're gonna go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Searching for space to the right. Impressive piece of running by Gore. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The quarterback unable to get the playoff in time, and that'll be a five-yard penalty for delay of game. Still first down.
after that penalty, it'll be first and 15. Gore. He's going to the left. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator. Running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. us to second down. Looks to his left. Knocked away into place. Yeah, this defender probably could block a lot of shots in basketball games too. That's a, just a wonderful job. Good timing and he swats the football away for the incompletion. From the eight, looking for an open receiver on the right. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. No, it's not. It's a fake touchdown. 49ers. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The 49ers for the extra point. Extra point is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Darren Sproles with a chance to return this kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. He's got a wide open alley. Ball is out. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. Well, that time, the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. The 49ers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Slashing to the right side. A game breaker. Touchdown. Brains are a big part of playing in the NFL. Good job by the running back making the right decision. Follows the blockers and walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Inside of the uprights. Yeah. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. under center now slashing to the right side looking for room well a short gain on the run that time by the offense when you're running football team listen there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work you just got to keep running it wide receivers stacked up on this play second and eight throws to the right that pass play picks up the first down Hey, nice route by the wide receiver that time. Good throw by the quarterback. It reminds me of the days with the Miami Dolphins. Paul Warfield running those corner routes, and Bob Greasy putting it right on target. Under fire on that throw. Oh, 
Second down after the incompletion. He's looking to the right, and he's intercepted. Has some space to work with. He's brought to a halt. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. The 49ers come out in the pistol. First and ten. Loads it up. It's going deep. And it's incomplete. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Gores lined up in a single back formation. Now makes the move to the right. Ooh, what are they doing? Impressive piece of running by Gore. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. First down here after the run. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. Drops the pass. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Second down following that incompletion. The formation here, shotgun. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Ohio! Third and goal at the six. The quarterback will hand it off. Breaks the plane, touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The 49ers now will tack on the extra point. He made it. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. On first down. Play action. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. They've got him down there. You've got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. In trouble now. They're going to get him this time. When you talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Gores in the backfield, single back set. Ohio, 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 Ohio. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. 
He had no time to get set. Lined up in the pistol formation. James handed the football. Goes to the left, taking off. No way. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. LaMichael James is in the backfield. The throw to the left. They failed to convert here on fourth down. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. The defense comes out of the dime. First and ten, and Ingram's got it on the handoff. No game on the play. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Now looking at third down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Gains 13. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. He's laying down there. They've got a first down now after that catch. They're setting up screen. Darren Sproles makes the catch. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Sproles is shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Second and ten. In completion on that hurry throw. Third down now. Pressure and incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. The Saints with an empty backfield look here. Breeze in shotgun formation. And complete. What was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense? Disorganized, not ready, and they give it up.
Sproles is the receiver, sent out wide to the left. First and ten. And the quarterback is taken down. This defense is awesome in blitzing. That time they blitz, they get the sack on the quarterback. They time the snap count perfectly and catch the offense by surprise. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Intercepted. Most NFL linebackers are borderline like good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. It's first down as they head to the line. Takes it on the counter. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field and you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Halftime, two minutes away. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Frank Gore gets it here. He's got some daylight. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. First and goal. Throws to the right. Catch is made for about five. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. Second down now. And the give to Frank Gore. And they score again here to pad the lead. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Darren Sproles with a chance to return this kickoff. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Split out wide on the left. Reaches out and snatches it. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Breeze in shotgun formation. Right on the money. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. That long gain sets them up here on this play. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots, and then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Saints ready here for the kickoff. And he's going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15.
Setting up in the pistol on this play. With two hands, he has it. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The 49ers line up in the pistol offense. Four. They run right to the 25. The 49ers call a timeout. They're first. is in the backfield. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He steps out. Well, that time it's a short pass to the receiver and I give him all the credit. He takes a short pass and turns it into a long gain. He has the moves to get it done and he did that time. The 49ers lined up in the pistol. He'll go left. It's Malcolm Jenkins who makes the tackle. The 49ers elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. Ohio! 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 Lined up in the pistol formation. Okay, okay, okay. Out of the shotgun formation. He'll throw it over the middle. Vernon Davis hauls it in. The 49ers have to call one right here, and they do, okay. and they are out of timeouts. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Antoine Bolden with the catch. The defense oh. will not decline. They will take the penalty. Oh. I took them in bounds. The clock goes right now. The 49ers in field goal formation. An empty possession for the offense. No good. Sproles is set now, split out wide to the left. First and ten. The pass down the field by Drew Brees, almost intercepted. So that's going to do it for the first half. 49ers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the 49ers lead by 21. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I had a moment to speak with Patrick Willis at halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. Thomas is out wide on the left. Gets away from the pressure. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. From the gun, Drew Brees ready for the snap. Second down and 11. 
to Jimmy Graham in the secondary. Has the catch. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. First down, following the long play. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Down the field. Intercepted. Bringing the play to an end. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Split backfield here, first and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Got a little crease. He steps out. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Gore is taking the handoff. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind the defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. The 49ers get a first down. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Run it again. He's headed right. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? The 49ers will go with the pistol on this play. LaMichael James gets the carry. Vaccaro on the tackle. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down the field. Halfway through the third quarter. To the right side. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Gore is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Second and ten. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. This will be the eighth play of this drive. is in the backfield looking for an open receiver on the right 
And they break it down at the 36-yard line. When the defense is going to play safe and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Setting up screen. Darren Sproles makes the catch. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Another sack. The sacks were so hard to come by in the NFL, but how about this time? The defender gets the sack, then it's two sacks in two plays. Going for the deep ball. That ball was going the other way. That'll stop the play right there. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open, tries to force the pass, and look, what's it turn into? An interception. Receivers are bunched up. Now first and ten. And he's forced to the ground. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. Working that left side, the reception, easy, wide open. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three in other words you have three defenders playing one in the middle one right and one left where well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath so slant patterns they're pretty easy against his cover three offense lines up here third and seven getting sacked when you're the quarterback and you see a blitz you got to know you're going to drop back look at a receiver and let it go no hesitation is allowed he hesitates and the defense gets the sack That'll do it for the third quarter here just off Poydras Street in New Orleans. And we'll be back in just a moment. comes out of the nickel. The final quarter begins with this snap. Hank Crabtree's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Makes the catch. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The quarterback is coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. The 49ers in the pistol. Back to the ground. Tackled at the 18th. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. 
You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second and ten. Another handoff. Running to the left side. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Well, if you're a good running back, when there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. The Saints' defense now is going to go nickel. And Crabtree is going to secure the handoff. And that'll be good for the first. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. This has been a long drive so far. Second and goal from the five. Running it like it's an option play. Power surge, touchdown. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love it, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue, and they got another touchdown to increase that lead. The 49ers with an extra point try on the way. Makes the grab, put an additional two points on the board as they convert. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He will run this one back. Shakes off the hit. Shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. The Saints lined up. Everybody split out wide. Breeze in shotgun formation. Almost intercepted that time. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. It's third down coming up. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz. It was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. Brought down at the 41-yard line. I uh, can't give all the uh, credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming, and they should have stopped it. Throws to the right. The Saints now move the chains. Don't see enough of this in the NFL anymore. The out route. Everybody's afraid to throw it. They want all those little safe dink and dunks inside. But that is a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and wide receiver. Breeze gets it to Jimmy Graham. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Thomas is the receiver, sent out wide to the left. And that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers. Good job that time by the defense.
Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver. 